If there's one thing that I like doing as much as making jewelry, it's crocheting. I wanted to make another crochet video. You might have seen the video that I posted a couple months ago where I crocheted my entire dress for a Ren Fair that I went to. I had a lot of fun making that video, so I thought, how can I incorporate fiber and fire? So I was like, I wanna make a jacket, and I don't know how to chain mail, so I guess I'm gonna have to make that out of yarn. And then I'm gonna make the buttons out of metal. I don't have a pattern for this, but I drew up this little design here uh, that I think will work. I don't know, I don't really make my own crochet patterns, so this is an experiment, but I think that this will work. We've got the two front panels, and on one side there will be holes for the buttons, and then the metal buttons will be sewn onto this side. And we've got two arms that I will fold into like a tube and then sew on, and then we've got the back panel, and then a collar. I'm hoping that just crocheting a long rectangle for the collar will make a collar. I went to Joann's this morning and I got the cheapest yarn I could find, this big old super saver. It was like $9 and 20% off because Joann's is always running them sales. I got this in pumpkin. I was super excited about this color when I saw it because it's bright and fun and I want more of that in 2024. So we're going pumpkin and then I'll make the buttons after I crochet the thing. I only bought one skein because I don't necessarily trust myself to finish this project, so I didn't wanna buy like several skeins, plus I don't know how much I'm gonna need. I'm just gonna do a half double crochet for the entire jacket as to make it mindless when I'm crocheting it. I won't have to think about what I'm doing and to make it warm because a half double crochet is a pretty like dense stitch. Obviously I'm here in my studio. I actually got here super early today. It's probably three o'clock and I've been here. Oh my gosh, it's time to be real. <laughs> Remember when we used to do this in pictures? If you wanna be my friend on Be Real, my name is Liz Metal Smith on there. So anyway, <laughs> I thought I would sit here and crochet a little bit. So I'm gonna to try to crochet like one panel and then get back to Metal Smithing. Okay, it's hilarious that I thought I could just lickety splitsy up one whole panel. <laughs> Spoiler alert, this jacket took me weeks to crochet. I'm crocheting this long ways because I think it will look nicer if the rows are going like that rather than across. So I think this is the length that I wanted. I'm just gonna crochet this whole panel. Hindsight is always 2020, and I wish I'd realized that the weight of this yarn was gonna make this way longer than I anticipated. This has taken me exactly one hour to crochet only that much. I was sitting here and had a little bit of an epiphany that I should probably crochet the back piece first so that I can make the front pieces like exactly half of that back piece. I just think that would be a lot easier. I need to get to work on some metal stuff. So I think I'm gonna have to just take this home and work on it tonight. I always think that I can do things so much faster than I actually can. I don't know what that is, but I was thinking earlier, like, yeah, maybe I could just finish this today. Mm, girlfriend, I don't think you can. One hour down, some amount of hours to go. Good morning, or afternoon. Um, I think it's it's 12.07, but time doesn't really matter when you're self-employed, so it's morning to me. I crocheted for quite a while last night. I got that much done, and I'm gonna stay here for a little bit today and keep crocheting. I still have that much of my skein. So I think I'll definitely be able to finish at least the back piece with just this skein. Do you ball your yarn every time you crochet or knit? 
I don't <laughs> because I'm lazy. Although I uh, do think that it's like so much easier to work with. I want to get one of those like yarn baller things where you just like crank it and it like balls it for you, you know? That would be nice. I don't know how big I'm gonna make this back. I'm just crocheting until um, it seems big enough. I really love this orange though, it's so fun. I'm glad I picked it, it's so bright. I'm very excited to just rock a bright pumpkin orange. Jasper, please. <sighs> I have the camera balancing on my iPad, which is on a pillow on this couch. So he almost just knocked over my whole situation. Thanks, Jasper. So I'm making some good progress. It's getting pretty wide. I think it's almost there. And this rectangle is looking perfect. I'm actually not being lazy and I'm like consciously doing my stitches right. Unlike this uh, hat that I was trying to crochet around Christmas time that I totally messed up, I'll insert a picture. <laughs> I'm sure it's not just me. I've been crocheting for like 15 years probably. I still mess up when I'm trying to do like a perfect rectangle piece because I miss that last stitch in the row sometimes. So then like I'll lose a stitch and then I'll, oh, I'll gain a stitch and then I'll lose a stitch. Like, and I end up with like three to five less stitches at the end and then the piece is like bowing like this and it just isn't right. I have a little bit of a tip that I thought I would share. If you're like a beginner crocheter, this might be helpful, I don't know. So what I like to do is you get to your last three stitches. And when you're at three, you can see that there's three. One, two, three. Once you get down to like the last one, this one kind of hides. It kind of like goes down and that's why I think a lot of people miss it. So when you know that you have three left, just make sure that you crochet three. So one, two, and then see when you're at two, that third one kind of falls down and like hides. So you just have to make sure you go down on the side and grab that third one. And then you will always have an even rectangle. That's how I'm doing it at least, because I have a lot of problems with that. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going a little bit further. I was thinking that maybe this was wide enough, but I just looked at it in the mirror in the bathroom and I feel like it's not quite, I want it to be like baggy and oversized. So I think I'm gonna finish this skein and that'll probably be good. I used up the skein that I had and then I laid the back piece on one of my baggy sweatshirts that I like the fit of and I realized that I was in fact not done. So I got another couple skeins of pumpkin and I tried a magic knot for the first time to attach them. It's my new favorite thing by the way. Definitely YouTube that if you haven't done it. After finally finishing the back, I worked on the front pieces over the next several days. This is why I don't crochet for other people. <laughs> I got way too many damn cats. Hi, just thought I would give an update on my crochet jacket. I am making progress, slow progress. It's been, I don't know, maybe two weeks since I started it and I'm just doing it like here and there. I made it like a lot bigger than I was anticipating that I would make it like a lot longer and baggier. So um, it's kind of taking forever but I will show you how far I've gone and I'm just spending my day here at home today and I really want to finish it. That's my goal, so that I can move on to the metal buttons. I really need an at-home tripod because <laughs> you're on like the world's smallest tripod right now, balancing on my iPad on the couch. But anyway, so here's what I have done so far on my jacket. I have the entire back Done, which is essentially just a blanket. It's huge. I have one side of the front done. 
And then I'm working on the other side of the front. Here's the other side. I think I have like 10 more rows to go on this and then I will have both the front and the back done. I just need to make the sleeves and the collar and the pockets, which I don't know if I'm gonna have enough yarn to do all this. I might have to find another yarn. I know I have white in this same like Super Saver yarn, so maybe I could do white or I have like a pink that is similar. I might have to do different colors. I don't know yet. I also haven't decided if I want to add buttonholes to this or if I just want to make my buttons small enough that they can fit through wherever. I think that's what I might do actually because um, I don't know, it seems like it might be hard to like find a buttonhole and like line it up exactly. I don't know, I feel like it's probably easier to just like make the buttons kind of small and just put them through the stitches. Maybe I'll regret that. I've never made a crochet jacket, so I don't know. I've been listening to and become obsessed with Fourth Wing. I have five hours and 56 minutes left of Fourth Wing, of the first book. I'm on chapter 28 right now, so I'm gonna listen to that and I'm gonna try to finish this today. Hi, it's the next day. I'm whispering because it's 1.30 in the morning, so I guess it's like two days from when you last saw me, technically. Uh, Zach is asleep, so I'm trying to be quiet. But I finally finished, uh, almost. I have the sleeves, the front, and the back done. Let me show you. Sleeves, front, back, cat. Oh, she has my yarn. Zoe. What are you doing? The little skein that she has claimed is all of the orange yarn that I have left. So I think it's enough for me to sew the jacket together or I'm, th I'm gonna crochet it together. I'm not gonna sew it together. I look like a mad scientist right now. I think I have enough to assemble the jacket, but I'm gonna have to figure out tomorrow if I want to get more orange yarn to do the pockets in the collar or if I wanna just do like a multicolor thing. I don't know yet. I was going into the assembly portion of this project completely blind, but I figured if I just sewed everything together like this, put the sleeves on each side, and then folded the whole jacket in half and sewed the sides and the undersides of the sleeves, it should work. I've seen people do this in like actual sewing tutorials, so I figured it was probably the same thing. I've never done this before, so I don't know if that'll work. <laughs> but that's what I'm gonna try to do. Again, with hindsight being 2020 and whatever, if I did this again, I would sew everything together with a needle rather than crocheting it with a hook. I ended up doing a slip stitch for all of it, which made it nice and secure, but also made the seams really obvious, which I'm just gonna say was an intentional design choice. <laughs> right here is where I realized that I effed up and that the sleeves were going to be horrendously long. I should have cut my losses and fixed them before sewing them on, but that wouldn't have been as entertaining. So here I am making my 500 hours of work, hilariously impractical just for this video. Just kidding, it's actually because I'm lazy as hell and I figured I could just come up with a creative way to fix them. Do you think light pink? Or bright pink? Hot pink. Or like a mauvey pink. Oh. Hmm. This is the one? Yeah, this is the jacket color. Go big or go home, man. Yeah, go I'm thinking fluorescent too. Should I just do fluorescent pink? Like on both pockets and the collar and just make it pink and orange? Or should I also get like a yellow and a green? This yellow? Or this yellow? <laughs> I don't know which one. I can't decide. Let me see this one. I kind of like this one. I don't really like this color yellow. Which one do you think? I kind of like this one. Yeah. I feel like it goes with this mauve color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm doing. I have decided. Okay, I'm back from Joanne, and not only did I get the yarn that you saw, the two pinks and the mustardy yellow, but 
Zach got me the cutest squish, squish, squish mallow I've ever seen in my entire life. I stopped to take a picture of it because I thought it was so cute. And he picked it up and bought it for me. It's a cat lemon. It doesn't really make sense, but it doesn't have to because it's just adorable. I'm thinking I'm gonna do these two for the pockets and this for the collar. That's my tentative plan. Do you wanna see the jacket on me? It uh, looks so good. I'm actually so impressed with how it like all fit together. Okay, hello. Oh, I don't think I can get my the whole thing. I made it massive. Like I made it way too long. I made the sleeves comically long. They look kind of cute and purposeful when they're rolled up like this, like a big statement cuff moment. But <laughs> truly they're like pant legs. Like they are... <laughs> what? <laughs> I was thinking that the sleeve was gonna start up here. I had an inkling that that wasn't gonna be the case and that it was gonna start down here when I looked at one of my sweatshirts, but I had already like finished one sleeve. So I just went for it. But I think what I'm gonna have to do is fold them up nicely like this and maybe sew them with some yarn so that they stay like that because never would I want a sleeve to be that long. <laughs> Let me position this so you can see the whole thing. See, very long. And like, I just can't believe that it all came together so nicely. Like all these seams came together so perfectly. And then I'm gonna add buttons. But first I'm gonna make my pockets and my collar. This folded paper towel roll is my unit of measurement. I like it about that long and then about as wide as like my hand if I stretch my hand out. So that's how big I'm gonna make the pockets. the collar. I don't know how to add a collar to a thing. I've never done that before. I've never made a sweater like this before either so I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. Is I think what I'm gonna try to do is where's the end? Hello? I think what I'm gonna try to do is crochet directly on here. At first I was gonna try to like make it on its own and then attach it, but I figure this probably makes way more sense so I know exactly like how far to crochet around. And then I think I'll just like slowly increase it a little bit so that it kind of like flares out. I think I'm gonna have to put it on so I know where to start it. This thing is so cozy. Okay, so I think I wanna start it maybe like here. All right, I don't have a stitch marker. <laughs> I also don't have scissors, so I'm gonna use this knife. I guess I'm just gonna start on one end and keep going around and around. I'm really bad at like adding a new color. I'm just doing a single crochet. I actually did that for the pockets too. I thought that would be nicer to have the pockets like not have as many gaps as like a half double crochet. I am gonna move to the couch though. <laughs> okay, so I just started doing the collar in pink and I realized I think I wanna like outline the entire thing. I don't even know if I wanna do a collar, but I definitely wanna do this trim all the way down and then all the way like on the bottom in pink. And I would do the sleeves if I hadn't made the sleeves so freaking long <laughs> that they're gonna have to be folded. I did decide to add buttonholes, so here I am tutorialing that. I just skipped my stitch marked stitch, did two chains, and then single crocheted into the next stitch. I'm super happy I decided to get the colorful yarn and make this jacket super fun and vibrant, somehow even more vibrant than a fully orange knee length jacket would have been on its own. <laughs> so I finished my sweater last night, the yarn part of it. I still have to make the buttons, obviously. I was thinking of redoing these sleeves because 
Well, I'm embarrassed now that we're stopped. Because these statement cuffs um, feel a little impractical to me, but I'm going to wear it to Costco right now and see if they're super annoying and if I should rip the whole sweater apart or if I should just leave it. Didn't you say you needed that? Yeah. <laughs> Do I look cool? Yeah. Are the statement sleeves sleeving? Oh, they're sleeving. Damn, girl. All right, I'm taking it off. <laughs> you look like a Starburst. A <laughs> Starburst? I'm gonna take it off now, it's really hot. Hi, I'm here with my sweater to make the buttons. We're almost done. I was going to do silver buttons and I decided that's silly. Silver is way too expensive to put on a little jacket that I crocheted. So I've got a sheet of brass here. Brass is the move, I think. You guys saw me wearing this at Costco. I was ready to rip these sleeves apart. I was so annoyed with the, <laughs> with the cuffs. Oh, so annoyed. I would have had to take the sweater like completely apart, especially because I did this pink around the edge. I would have had to take all of that apart and then take the whole side seam apart. But when I was wearing it at Costco, I realized why would I take it apart and make it like a sweater sleeve? This is supposed to be a jacket. It's gonna have metal buttons. It's not something that I'm gonna be washing often or wearing often. It's just supposed to be a jacket. So big fashion cuff sleeves it is. This is a Gucci move. This is high fashion <laughs> and it was totally purposeful. Okay, so 16 millimeters is about the size of the buttonhole and I need my button to be just a little bit bigger than the buttonhole, obviously, that's how button and buttonholes work. So I'm just gonna trace out this 18 millimeter hole and cut it out and see if that's a good size. So I mulled over this for a long time trying to think of something really cool I could do for the buttons. I was thinking like, I could do moon phases, or I could do like hearts, stars, horseshoes, clovers, and blue moons, like lucky charms. But what I keep coming back to, and what honestly seems the easiest at this point, is smiley faces. So that's what I'm gonna do. Brass smiley faces. Now does she fit? Yes but I think I want it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna cut it one size bigger, and then I, I think I'm gonna stamp the smiley face onto it, and I think I'm going to try to drill holes. The way in which I don't wanna have to do any soldering on these buttons is so strong, so I wanna try to stamp on the smiley face, drill buttonholes, and be done with it. Can I do that? How am I gonna do that? Oh. I could make buttonholes in the middle and that could be like his nose. And I could do the smiley face. We'll try it. This is quite very possibly the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. It looks like a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Also, all of my freaking drill bits are completely dull and I can't drill a hole. Ugh. So screw it, we're going silver. I've got a bunch of scrap here. I'm gonna melt it down, roll it out on my rolling mill, cut out some circles, and I'm gonna have to solder a little thing on the back for the yarn to go through since I can't drill holes. Originally, I wanted to add gemstones to these buttons and make them super bougie and fancy, but I think after three weeks of crocheting, I was just severely over it. Plus, the jacket itself has a lot going on, so I think some pretty shiny, simple buttons complement it pretty well.
All right, my buttons are done. I just did a really simple hammered finish on them. I'm gonna solder some little loopies on the back and pickle them and then they're done. Simple but much cuter than the Ninja Turtle smiley face. So I think I'm happy with these. Lighting in our apartment absolutely freaking sucks. So I'm here in my bedroom. <laughs> this is how we do it, by the way. And I'm going to sew on my buttons and then we'll be done with this project. Finally. I wish I could actually count this fast IRL. I swear I have to count stitches like 47 times before I can actually trust that I've counted them correctly. I didn't do anything fancy here. I just secured the button around a stitch and then brought the yarn back up and through the buttonhole one more time before tying like three double knots. I could have been done, but I decided I wanted to add some colorfulness to the sleeves. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, my camera just died. That's why I'm filming this on my phone, but almost finished. And once my masterpiece was done, I decided to take her out on the town to the only place my agoraphobic ass can go, my apartment complex's community laundry room. It was a Saturday and kind of packed in there, so I didn't get the glamour shots that I wanted. And if anyone saw me, they definitely thought I was draped in a blanket that I found at Goodwill. But I think that it looks great. I'm loving the little pops of color, definitely worth the extra effort. Naturally, as an Ohio girl, I had to get a selfie shot with the palm tree. And then I snuck into the pool area to do this very natural, not awkward at all strut in my Crocs. If anybody actually made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. This is a long one, uh, but thank you for hanging in there with me. I just hit 800 subscribers as I was editing this, which is fun. I have something cool planned for 1,000 subscribers, so if you're not subscribed and for some reason you just watch me for 35 minutes, you should hit the subscribe button and help me out. This jacket is actually so warm, I'm sitting here burning up trying to film this, but um, I love how it turned out. I love the little pop of color on these big ass sleeves, and I love the silver buttons. They're simple, but they're shiny, and maybe someday I'll have to barter with them in the apocalypse. I love all the color. I just think all in all, it turned out really cute. And I don't know if I'll ever wear it again, but at least it will be in my museum of things that I've made for YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe if you wanna see more stuff from me. Like the video if you wanna be a nice guy and I will see you in another one sometime, probably in a week or so. All right, bye.